Do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not, remember that what you now have was once among the things you only hoped for. The things you really need are few and easy to come by, but the things you can imagine you need are infinite, and you will never be satisfied. Not what we have but what we enjoy, constitutes our abundance. Happiness is man's greatest aim in life. Tranquility and rationality are the cornerstones of happiness. You don't develop courage by being happy in your relationships every day. You develop it by surviving difficult times and challenging adversity. I have never wished to cater to the crowd, for what I know they do not approve, and what they approve I do not know. He who is not satisfied with a little, is satisfied with nothing. Being happy is knowing how to be content with little. Let no one be slow to seek wisdom when he is young nor weary in the search of it when he has grown old. For no age is too early or too late for the health of the soul. Freedom is the greatest fruit of self-sufficiency. He who has peace of mind disturbs neither himself nor another. Do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not. We should look for someone to eat and drink with before looking for something to eat and drink. Live your life without attracting attention. Of all the means to ensure happiness throughout the whole life, by far the most important is the acquisition of friends. There is nothing terrible in life for the man who realizes there is nothing terrible in death. A man who causes fear cannot be free from fear. Self-sufficiency is the greatest of all wealth. Men, believing in myths, will always fear something terrible, everlasting punishment is certain or probable. Men base all these fears not on mature opinions, but on irrational fancies, that they are more disturbed by fear of the unknown than by facing facts. Peace of mind lies in being delivered from all these fears. Be moderate in order to taste the joys of life in abundance. If God listened to the prayers of men, all men would quickly have perished, for they are forever praying for evil against one another. The misfortune of the wise is better than the prosperity of the fool. A free life cannot acquire many possessions because this is not easy to do without servility to mobs or monarchs. If you would enjoy real freedom, you must be the slave of philosophy. The summit of pleasure is the elimination of all that gives pain. Most men are in a coma when they are at rest and mad when they act. Skillful pilots gain their reputation from storms and tempest. Do everything like someone is gazing at you. Pleasure is the first good. It is the beginning of every choice and every aversion. It is the absence of pain in the body and of troubles in the soul. To eat and drink without a friend is to devour like the lion and the wolf. Death does not concern us, because as long as we exist, death is not here, and when it does come, we no longer exist. The noble soul occupies itself with wisdom and friendship. The art of living well and the art of dying well are one. He who needs riches least, enjoys riches most. I never desired to please the rabble. What pleased them, I did not learn, and what I knew was far removed from their understanding. 
For a wrongdoer to be undetected is difficult, and for him to have confidence that his concealment will continue is impossible. Only the just man enjoys peace of mind. Luxurious food and drinks, in no way protect you from harm. Wealth beyond what is natural, is no more use than an overflowing container. Real value is not generated by theaters, and baths, perfumes, or ointments, but by philosophy. No pleasure is evil in itself, but the means by which certain pleasures are gained bring pains many times greater than the pleasures. He who doesn't find a little enough will find nothing enough. The wise man thinks of fame just enough to avoid being despised. It is better for you to be free of fear lying upon a pallet, than to have a golden couch and a rich table and be full of trouble. Launch your boat, blessed youth, and flee at full speed from every form of culture. To be rich is not the end, but only a change, of worries. It is not so much our friend's help that helps us, as the confidence of their help. In a philosophical dispute, he gains most who is defeated, since he learns most. We have been born once and there can be no second birth. For all eternity we shall no longer be. But you, although you are not master of tomorrow, are postponing your happiness. Of all the things which wisdom provides to make us entirely happy, much the greatest is the possession of friendship. It is not the young man who should be considered fortunate but the old man who has lived well, because the young man in his prime wanders much by chance, vacillating in his beliefs, while the old man has docked in the harbor, having safeguarded his true happiness. The fool, with all his other faults, has this also, he is always getting ready to live. Man was not intended by nature to live in communities and be civilized. The man least dependent upon the morrow goes to meet the morrow most cheerfully. A strict belief in fate is the worst of slavery, imposing upon our necks an everlasting lord and tyrant, whom we are to stand in awe of night and day. We must, therefore, pursue the things that make for happiness, seeing that when happiness is present, we have everything, but when it is absent, we do everything to possess it. Pleasure is the beginning and the end of living happily. Riches do not exhilarate us so much with their possession as they torment us with their loss. Death is nothing to us, since when we are, death has not come, and when death has come, we are not. If thou wilt make a man happy, add not unto his riches but take away from his desires. Nothing is sufficient for the person who finds sufficiency too little. The greater the difficulty the more glory in surmounting it, and the loss of false joys secures to us a much better possession of real ones. If death causes you no pain when you're dead, it is foolish to allow the fear of it to cause you pain now. What will happen to me if that which this desire seeks is achieved, and what if it is not? I spit upon luxurious pleasures, not for their own sake, but because of the inconveniences that follow them. There is no such thing as justice in the abstract, it is merely a compact between men in their various relations with each other, in whatever circumstances they may be, that they will neither injure nor be injured. The fool's life is empty of gratitude and full of fears, its course lies wholly toward the future. The time when most of you should withdraw into yourself is when you are forced to be in a crowd. 
Any man who does not think that what he has is more than ample, is an unhappy man, even if he is the master of the whole world. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.